Good afternoon. I'm Susan Dinkle. It's Thursday, February 28th. For the first time in nearly 25 years, major gun control legislation was heard by Congress. Last night, lawmakers approved a measure requiring federal background checks for all firearm sales and transfers. Today, News 10's Richard Solomon went to a few local gun shops to see how gun owners are taking this proposed new measure. He joins us now live outside of Top Guns right here in Terre Haute. Richard. I wanted to see what people in the community would think about this new measure being proposed. On my own, I read a few articles about what this really means. Basically, the overall goal is to prevent gun violence. Lawmakers specifically cited recent school shootings that raised a concern. I spoke with one man here at Top Guns who is a veteran. He says he doesn't think this will even pass through Senate. It won't go anywhere as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, I don't see how it can. Tom Moore is a veteran of 27 years. When he heard about this new measure being proposed, he had his own opinion set. He told me he believes this is another way for the government to alter the Second Amendment. Moore said he thinks the best way to keep people safe is proper gun safety. If you're going to own firearms, just be safe. I mean, it, it isn't any different than learning about safety of you know, driving or safety, safety using a knife or anything else. While I was there, I spoke with Steve Ellis. He's the president of Top Guns. I certainly understand what they're making an effort to do here. We even took a look at the bill to get a better understanding of it. Lawmakers' motives are to keep guns out of the hands of people with bad intentions. He thinks the government is moving in the right direction, but still has doubts. We certainly have a concern as to what exactly uh, is going to happen, and how, more importantly, how it's going to be interpreted. Moore says guns will still be accessible to bad people, regardless if this gets passed. And so if they try to control guns, same thing, you'll find them anywhere you want to find them. Coming up at 6, we'll take a deeper look into what this bill really means and find out if it has any possibilities for the city of Terre Haute. Reporting live in Vigo County, I'm News 10's Richard Solomon. Back to you.